Uh, this is being seen as a classic example of misplaced priorities on a, on a spending spree as far as their own leaders here are concerned. The Karnataka government is considering to make an exclusive luxury club for its MLAs. On Monday, in a meeting in which the Chief Minister, the Assembly Speaker, the Congress leader, Siddharamaya, along with leaders of the JDS present here, so it was uh, literally an all-party MLA meet here, and a proposal was made for the construction of this exclusive clubhouse, to which all have given in their nod. The MLAs have demanded here that they will need a swimming pool, they will need a massage centre and a gym. And the government has now shortlisted four buildings for this. Of course, this comes in with a huge expense here. And all of this, even as people continue to die on the roads of Bengaluru. Remember, pothole-related deaths that are being reported in capital city, Karnataka, Bengaluru there as well. This is because of negligence by the civic authorities. While two weeks ago, a 75-year-old, especially abled man, died because of a pothole. And another incident that took place, which was last Friday, there was a 47-year-old who fell into an open pit and died. We should remember here that the government has long back in the past one week and in multiple deadlines that have been missed for the past so many months here as they continue to promise that the roads will be fixed but there are several stretches of the road here that still continues to remain battered and ridden with potholes. Club for MLA sir, what, hmm. is, what is the whole idea sir behind it? Please ask the concerned person. But what, what is this? You're also an MLA, very senior leader of the party. No, you think club is because uh, there is a institute, clubs for the IAS officers, IPS officers. Why not for MLAs? Why not? Yeah, but the people are questioning that during pandemic and uh, state action. No, not question of pandemic. Eh? It is an issue. It last discussed in the last 10 years, yeah. 10 years. Where it is coming up, sir? Club I, I don't know. Okay. Institution club, it seems. Yeah. And the uh, speaker is the chairman of that club. Yeah. I don't know the details, yeah. but they might have decided uh, properly only. Yeah. So, so during your time also, it came up for discussion about club. Uh, earlier, Congress said that we don't want at this moment, but BJP is going ahead. Are you in support of it? What is the situation? No, Congress leaders will take a call regarding this. Yeah. So, I don't know the details about this. Okay. So do you think this club should happen, sir, because there is a need for MLAs for a club like this? Listen, nowadays everybody is working under a lot of pressure. Yeah. So we must have a club like, uh, my opinion is, yeah. for yoga, yeah. gym, yeah. and for relaxation, for discussion, for studying. Uh, all these things, uh, some kind of uh, uh, recreation type plus club is required. Yeah. If that is the case, I welcome it. Well, you heard some of those responses that are coming in from sitting MLAs in government. Remember, this is across the board, across parties here. And because this is supposed to be a luxury club for themselves, they've given the go-ahead. Uh, we'll also take into account the kind of budget allocation that has promptly been agreed upon by the state government. And the reason that the leaders here give out, as you heard it yourself just a short while back there, saying that there is too much stress, uh, these would work as de-stressing for the MLAs uh, we have with us our correspondent Srija getting us those updates here. Uh, Srija, should we be calling this misplaced priorities here because this would require a separate allocation of, of budgets required here for this luxury club, whereas uh, as far as the common man is concerned, the suffering to the extent that you lose lives on your roads. Firstly, what we have to understand is that we are in the pandemic and there are several of the doctors and also healthcare workers who have lost their lives, who are still awaiting for the compensation. Now, the government says the coffers have gone dry. They really don't have money to actually pay the healthcare workers in the state because they don't really have money. But clearly, they have money to set aside for either mm -hmm. for the construction or for the existing buildings as far as an exclusive club for the legislators are concerned. Now, what's more important to note that this is not the first time a demand like this has been placed by the MLAs. It's been for the last six to seven years, even when Siddharamaya was the then chief minister, the demand was actually put forth then. But after that, for reasons uh, we understand, for several reasons, because of stiff opposition from the opposition parties and also because of the public ire, we see that the project was actually put off. 
But if you're asking if these are misplaced priorities at this point in time, now speaking to some of the civic activists, also taxpayers, what they tell us is that this point in time, it is definitely a misplaced priority by the government. When you have the government telling us that the uh, coffers have gone completely dry. Firstly. Secondly, what we're looking at is just about a few weeks ago, we saw where an elderly person, he lost his life here in the city of Bengaluru because of poorly, badly maintained roads. Important to note here is that be it the BWSSP, which is the Bengaluru Water Supply Board, or even for that matter, the Road Development, Bengaluru Development Board, everything comes under basically the Chief Minister himself. He holds this particular portfolio. But clearly, he has the time mm. to set and also make decisions for his legislators that yes we can go ahead with a, a club a recreational club what's important to note here is that there are some of the demands that have been placed if it if they're planning to go with existing buildings such as Kubara Kripa guest house or even for that matter Balabrui guest house they the legislators have demanded saying that when lawyers can have a, a recreational club or exclusive club and the pre, uh, media persons can have exclusive club why not legislators they also go on to demand that they want a massage center, they want a spa and also a gym. And these are certain demands basically that have been put forth before the chief minister. Well, uh, Srija, also help us understand the, the, the kind of budget that would be used. In fact, uh, stay on with us because we're getting in more voices. We have Mr. Ganesh Karnik, BJP spokesperson connected with us here. Good evening, Mr. Karnik. There are questions being raised here on uh, government budget, the exchequer's money being used for, uh, for, for, for stress busters required for the MLAs. Clearly, there's, there's a lot more stress busting that the Karnataka government needs to do for its citizens there. Um, see, I'm uh, in a different place. I'm in uh, Orissa, and I've heard uh, through you, through your channel, that uh, uh, you know, uh, there is some uh, discussion about a uh, uh, club for uh, uh, you know, uh, the, the elected members. If I don't um, uh, understand it properly, kindly correct me. See, as I understand, when I was a legislator, I had contributed a certain amount of money uh, to form a kind of a recreational activity center for the legislators. It was an independent movement by the uh, uh, legislators as well as the former legislators for which we had approached the government for certain support. I would like to go through what exactly is the decision of the government before commenting on it. But one point is, yes, uh, uh, you may ask from a perspective of, you know, whether the government should spend money on this. Spend, no, but uh, you know, Mr. Karnik, where do you think that the yes. government is taking money for to have these luxury clubs for the MLAs? Clearly, it's not going from the MLAs' pockets here. Um, I'm not very sure uh, what exactly. I told before uh, getting into this debate, I told them I'm not having the exact... Uh, details, so I will not be able to come in. But as I understand, some uh, eight, ten years ago, I, all, I told you know, I also contributed to an amount of money uh, for this. So, and it, had, it was not taken forward. Uh, but uh, no, keeping but, aside... But this is, yeah. Mr. Mr. Karnik, this is not in personal capacity. If you have an official meeting that, took place, that takes place, by the way, for your information, because you say you're out of town and you don't know, there was a meeting that took place on Monday. This was with the chief minister, this was with the assembly speaker, with the Congress yeah. leader, with JDS yeah. leaders as well. So very clearly, this was almost like an all-party meet that the Karnataka government had. This was an okay. official meeting. The money is yeah. going from the state treasury. The money is going from the exchequer. This is not personal money to... of the MLAs. How difficult no, no, is, I, is I it to, to understand I that? To, I have to please check on that before commenting on what you are suggesting. If it was only a meeting of uh, you know uh, the chief minister and the speaker and then the opposition le uh, party leaders and all that, I don't think uh, possibly somebody would have made a suggestion. I don't think it has become a law or uh, you know something which is approved already, because I was, uh, as I remember during my own tenure, 
The MLAs have downtown. demanded for this kind of a luxury club, which includes a swimming pool, a massage center. The government has already shortlisted four buildings for this. The government okay. shortlists this. This is not anyone doing it in their personal capacity. The government is shortlisting these buildings. No, no, Mr. Karnig, at best, you should you should be you should be shunting down this nature of a proposal no, instead of no, saying I'm, you I'm don't sorry, understand I, the technicalities I, I, of this. Technicalities of this are so clear. No, I'm sorry. I, 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 I was trying to tell you that you no, know, eight, ten years ago, some movement had taken place, and uh, the so-called association of the legislators and the common legislators had approached the government, requesting for some help in terms of place, in terms of uh, building, and all that. I really don't know what is the exact uh, development that took place in the meeting yesterday or today, which you are referring to. I am in uh, now in Konark, actually in Orissa. So my my reading is, you know, independently, uh, the legislators had formed a, an association and they had proposed this idea. And uh, further, what is Mr. Karnik, if you're referring to something that happened eight to ten years and not willing to take into account what happened two days ago on Monday, it is unfortunate. The government is taking this step uh, with respect to the exchequer's money, using it for a luxury stuff, a luxury club for stress-busting for themselves, as if no one else living in Karnataka needs it.